For most of the last century, archaeology treated the Amazon as an empty forest. The soil was considered too poor, the environment too harsh. Large, organized societies were thought impossible here before European contact. That idea shaped the timeline. But recent research is quietly forcing a rethink. Across parts of the Amazon basin, LIDAR surveys and fieldwork have revealed planned settlements hidden beneath forest regrowth. Long straight causeways, large geometric earthworks, raised platforms and water-managed landscapes. These were not temporary camps. At sites linked to the Kasarabe culture, archaeologists have identified interconnected population centers spread across vast areas. Some were capable of supporting tens of thousands of people. The layout shows planning, coordination, and long-term occupation. This matters because the forest didn't erase these societies through collapse. It absorbed them. After depopulation, vegetation reclaimed the land, hiding cities in plain sight. Radiocarbon dates place many of these structures over a thousand years old, with soil engineering like Terra Preta suggesting generations of environmental knowledge. That pushes complexity further back than the old model allowed. The Amazon wasn't empty. We just couldn't see it. And if this assumption was wrong here, it raises a bigger question. How many other landscapes are still telling the wrong story because we relied on surface evidence alone?